Obviously, it's been a couple of weeks now since the Dame de Bois fight. Um, still, I guess, uncertain on what the future is. Um, for yourself, what, what would you like to see in, in the future for Anthony Joshua? I'd like to see him say thank you, goodbye. You'd like to see AJ retire? Yeah, yeah, I would. I don't think he, I don't think he will. That's just my opinion. And the reason why I say that is because I didn't like seeing what I saw. I didn't like to see Anthony. It's coming from a great place, a good place. I didn't like to see Anthony Joshua getting knocked out like that. Anthony Joshua is a former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. Look at all the world champions he's boxed. You know, we've seen the good days of Anthony Joshua. We've seen the bad days of Anthony Joshua. At this stage in his career, he can't be coming in there having bad days like that. Um, I, I explained to somebody else earlier, you look at when he came out against Ungarno, even though Ungarno was his second professional fight, look at Anthony Joshua's approach, yeah. mindset, the, 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 the character building to back to, to get back to that point after the Usyk fight, he thought, I need to build his comments back up again. Came in flat foot, boom, back on it. Then you saw the first 30 seconds when he came against Dubois, you thought, what's going on here? What are you doing? So this isn't a coach problem, because I could easily bang, blame his coach, but, but Anthony Joshua put his coach in that position. What coach wouldn't take on Anthony Joshua? And what coach wouldn't want the kudos? So, so, so regardless if I give you the keys to the porch, it it's my fault for giving you the keys. The book's up today, Anthony Joshua. And the problem isn't the coach, the problem isn't anything outside, because we know he's got the ability, we know what he's capable of doing. The problem is there. That's where the problem is. And, um, and so, so for AJ, you know, I say I'd walk away because because you know he's got the talent but, but it's depending on him coming to work with all the tools he might do the next fight he might do the fight after that then, then he won't after that at this level the level he's at he needs to produce consistently I do not want to see that on again is, it, is there not and those are the words of Johnny Nelson and he thinks feels that AJ should retire from the sport of boxing. And let me counterpunch. Um, is Johnny wrong for that? Should AJ retire? Well, he could retire. And I think someone like Anthony Joshua, he could retire. He could um, sell off in the sunset. And I think that would be the easiest thing to do. But is it the best thing to do? Right? So we have a situation of Johnny, like, hey, I don't like seeing that. And I think Johnny's coming, speaking from the heart, I think he's he doesn't want to see that. Because for one, that is embarrassing. For two, that's very dangerous. And for three, what he's saying is, it's not his physical attributes, it's his mindset. That's what he was saying. It's up here. It's this. This is what he was pointing to. And, and, and you know, that makes a lot of sense, though. It really does. Because you don't have time to being hurt like that. Because if you don't come in 100% mentally prepared, you can physically, mentally, a lot of other things, Lee, damage yourself permanently when you don't have your head screwed on straight, when you don't have what it takes to do what you currently and consistently done. If you can't do that, you can put yourself in grave danger of never being the same again, normally in the ring or outside the ring. Okay. But like Johnny said, I don't think he'll do it. And we don't think he'll do it either. Why? Because we, as people, are the ones that put pressure on guys like Anthony Joshua. We are. Not Joshua himself. We, the people that expect the comments, the concerns, the backing, the expectation. He can do it. He'll knock him out in the rematch. I said it myself. You know, but in reality, like probably the safest thing, probably the best thing would be for him to retire. And and again, back to Johnny. He ain't the fact he couldn't do it or he can't do it or he lacks. It's the fact that whatever was bothering him on the reason he couldn't go into and he couldn't adapt to certain things in the ring is something mental and no one can fix that. No one could have told AJ to keep your hands up. Everybody just says, hey, you know what? Do you know what? You know, roll the dice, throw the double jab, this, that, and the other. We could 
disagree with that all day long. You know, and, and we would be right, but at the same time, Joshua should have known when to apply what Ben told him to do. Only he could know that. He didn't say when to do it. He said to do it. And to be fair, he did land the uppercut in the fourth round. And that kind of buckled Daniel Dubois. He took it like a champ, though. Fair play to Daniel Dubois, the dynamite, right? But at the end of the day, no one told him to throw the punch and leave this part completely open. Open. Nobody told AJ to do that. Okay, nobody told him to do that but him or he didn't tell himself to cover up and throw that shot. You know what I mean? Bow, clip, bow. And that could have been all she wrote if AJ would have came in mentally prepared defensively, offensively, and every other lead. Okay, that's the point. You know, and I think we expect a lot from AJ and AJ expects that. That's why he won't, you know, do what he does, but he does need to protect himself because he can get hurt. And who really would want that, honestly? You know what I mean? Because if he gets hurt and he's never the same again, and, he, and he's like, unfortunately, like other people, I'm not even going to claim that. But if he does get hurt, whose fault really is it? Us. So is, again, Johnny Nelson wrong? No. But you guys tell me what you think of Johnny Nelson stating that Anthony Joshua does need to retire from the sport of boxing. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.